Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is 27 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x this is equal to 82 given that x is greater than 0 and that x is not equal to 0 so what is the value of x? let's prevent the solution from here so we have 27 raised to the power of x minus 3 raised to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x this is equal to 82 so we have that we can express 27 as 3 to the power of 3 we can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2 let's substitute this so that we have 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x divided by 9 which you can express as 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x this is equal to 82 from here 3 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x this is in the form of a to the power of n which raised to the power of m which you can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n let's apply this identity from here so that we have 3 to the power of x raised to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of x divided by this is 3 raised to the power of x raised to power 2 minus 3 to the power of x this is equal to 82 the next step from here we can let 3 to the power of x be equal to u. So let's substitute this in this equation. So we have u to the power of 3 minus u over u to the power of 2 minus u. This is equal to 82. 82 is our number, so this is over 1. The next step from here, let's cross multiply. So let's cross multiply from here. We have u to the power of 3 minus u. This is equal to 82 times u squared minus u. So that here we have u to the power of 3 minus u. This is equal to 82 times u squared. This becomes 82 u squared minus 82 times minus u. This is minus 82 u. So let's take 82u squared minus 82u on the left hand side. So that now, now here we have u to the power of 3 minus u. This is equal to 82u squared minus 82u. So let's take this on the left hand side. So that we have u to the power of 3 minus u. Then subtract 82u squared. Then plus 82u. This is equal to 0. So from here, we find that we have u to the power of 3 minus 82u squared. Then we have minus u plus 82u. This is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 minus 82u squared minus u plus 82u. This is the same thing as plus 81. U, this is equal to 0. From here, U is common. We can factor out U so that into the parentheses, we have U squared minus 82U, then plus 81. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. We have two parts here. We have that U1 is equal to 0. And that the second part here is u squared minus 82u plus 81. This is equal to 0. Now, from the first part here, if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let 3 to the power of x be equal to u. Let's substitute u here. So we have 3 to the power of x. This is equal to zero so now from here we have three raised to 
power x should give us a positive value. In this case, this implies that x here will be equal to 0. And this violates the condition so that we have that x is not equal to 0 from the condition that x is not equal to 0 from here. So therefore, this part is rejected. This part is rejected. So let's proceed to the second part here, which is u squared minus 82u plus 81. This is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation of the form au squared plus bu plus c. This is equal to 0. We can solve this quadratic equation by factorization method, where we have the product as negative, that is 81, and we have the sum as negative 82. So from here, we have that we can identify two factors, and these two factors, we have negative 81, that is negative 81, and negative 1. So that if you say negative 81 times negative 1, this is equal to 81, which is our product here. And that we have the sum, if you say negative 81u minus u, this is the same thing as negative 82u. Let's substitute this information back to the equation so that we have u squared minus 81u minus u plus 81, this is equal to 0. So from this particular part here, u is common, we can factor out u, so that now we have u minus 81, then subtract, 1 is common here, we can factor out 1, so that we have u minus 81, this is equal to 0 from here. Now we have u minus 81 is common here. We can factor out u minus 81. Then here we have u minus 1. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. We have u minus 1. This is equal to 0. And we have u minus 81. This is equal to 0. So this implies that here we have that u2 is equal to 1. And here we have that u3 is equal to 81. Now, again, if you recall, we are saying that let 3 to the power of x be equal to u. So we have 3 to the power of x, this is equal to u2 is 1. And again, if you recall that if you have a to the power of 0, this is the same thing as 1. So let's apply this property. So that we have 3 to the power of x, this is equal to 3 to the power of 0. So this implies that x is equal to 0. x2 is equal to 0. And this violates the condition that x is not equal to 0. So this part is rejected. This part is also rejected. Let's proceed to u3, which is equal to 81. Again, we have 3 to the power of x. This is equal to 81. We can express 81 as 3 to the power of 4. So we have 3 to the power of 4. The bases are common here. That is e to the power of m. This is equal to e to the power of n. Since the bases are common, exponent n is equal to m. So here we have that x is equal to Four. So we have the value of x equal to 4. And we can see that x is greater than 0. So this implies that the next step from here is to verify. Let's verify. Let's verify that x satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have 27 raised to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x, subtract 3 to the power of x, this should give us a value of 82 from here. So, 
Now from here we have that, let's substitute x equal to 4. So that now we have 27 raised to the power of 4 minus 3 raised to the power of 4 divided by 9 to the power of 4 minus 3 to the power of 4. This should give us a value of 82 from here. So we have that 27 raised to the power of 4. This is the same thing as 531,441. Subtract 81, 3 to the power of 4, this is 81, divided by 9 to the power of 4, and this is equal to 65, 61, minus 3 to the power of 4, which is 81, this is supposed to give us a value of 82. Now we have 531, 441 minus 81, this is equal to 531,360 divided by 6561 minus 81. This is equal to 6480. This is supposed to give us a value of 82. So 531,360 divided by 6480. This is equal to 82. And this is equal to 82. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this proves that that the value of x which is equal to 4 satisfies the equation so kindly of follow the steps like this video and subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye